All right, welcome to another interview. And today we feature Elena Roberts. She is a professor at the University of Pittsburgh. She got her PhD at Indiana University in 2017. And she is an award-winning historian. She, for example, got a postdoc at the Richards Center and awards from the Western History, History Association. Um, she has published a few articles in Civil War History and the Western Historical Quarterly and also popular pieces in the Washington Post, for example. And we are going to talk today about her newest book, which I think I will put somewhere in the screen. Um, I have been here while, all the while, Black Freedom on Native Land. Uh, a really interesting book as I was reading through it. Um, as I said on Twitter to somebody, I wished it would have been like 100 pages longer at times. But I do understand that it's not necessarily your decision. Um, but I was curious, how did you come to be interested in the Indian Territory and looking not at the Native population, but African Americans? Well, this is my father's family story. Um, and I started really kind of on the genealogical side, wanting to know more about that, searching for identity, uh, those kinds of cliches. And uh, then I realized that in the academic world, that story had not been kind of told as much. Um, and so there had been work on predominantly the Cherokees at that point. Um, there is, I'd argue still, the most work has been done on the Cherokees. Increasingly, people are moving into the Choctaws and Chickasaws like Nakia Parker. Um, I think Faye Yarbrough is moving there as well. Um, but I really wanted to kind of be able to tell that story about my family and kind of help the broader world as well as the academic world understand what this kind of different black experience was like 